Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and in this video I want to address the something that I, I hear a lot, and that is that there's not that many narcissists, why are so many people talking about it, they're very rare, um, there's just not that many of them, it's a small percentage of the population, and that is just not correct. For those of you who have already dealt with a narcissist or are dealing with a narcissist, you probably already know there's a lot of them around. So even for the people who want to throw up statistics, okay, I am not a mathematician, but I did take statistics in college. And one of the very first things that we learned was all statistics can be manipulated to work in whatever favor you want it to go. Also, narcissistic personality disorder, also referred to as NPD, mostly goes undiagnosed because narcissists don't think there is anything wrong with them. The chances are greater that you have some kind of narcissist around you right now. And the other thing I wanted to address is the difference um, between calling somebody a psychopath or calling someone a narcissist. All right, so here's how it works. All psychopaths are narcissists. Not all narcissists are psychopaths. Every serial killer is a psychopath, and they're also a narcissist. Every cult leader is also a narcissist. We typically only hear about the ones that go psychopathic, like Jim Jones um, and David Koresh, people like that, okay? But the serial killers, Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, all of them those, they are all nar narcissists and psychopaths, and what they both share in common, what the narcissist and the psychopath share in common, is lack of empathy. And so even when you say, well, there's really not that many psychopaths because there's not that many serial killers, that's just the ones they've caught. Back in the day, believe it or not, I used to work security, and we often did it for stores for to catch shoplifters. And what we were, what we learned the very first day was they told us for every shoplifter you catch, twenty get away. And those who work in law enforcement will tell you the very same thing about every criminal they catch. Bottom line is this: once you recognize narcissism and know what to look for, you're going to realize there are a lot of them out there, no matter what those statistics say. If there weren't a lot of narcs, there wouldn't be a lot of channels just like this one.